Hey, welcome back to Cutting Trails. So uh, we got a few items that we're gonna be installing on the Razor Pro today. We have, we can get it open. This lovely mirror. We got fender flares finally came in. Thank you, Polaris factory workers. Hey, so the first thing we're installing is the mirror and you have three screws right here This comes real loose a little too loose for my comfort So you can actually adjust that by tightening These three screws right here. So we're gonna do that We have a mounting bracket This sits on it right just like that and then this sits up in the factory placement of where a mirror should go. All right, we got that tightened up. That's a lot tighter, more snug for when we're uh, riding around. Harder for the mo harder for the mirror to bounce around. We got two clips, three screws. Comes with some tools. Now these clips right here are gonna be going right here. Just like that. Super easy. All right. Now we're gonna take our bracket and figure out how we want that to work out. Looking like that right there. All right, so we're gonna put these in now. All right, got those two screws in. Now we have our mirror. As you can see, it's got two flat spots on it. It's gonna go right in there. Look how nice that looks. All right, so we're gonna put this last screw on the back side here, and then we'll see how it looks. All right, guys, there it is. That is one fancy mirror. Now, the reason why I chose this mirror is because it has kind of the razor angles you know, the look of it. It's, it's kind of got the razor lines. And the mirror I bought off of Super ATV a little while back is this thing. This generic, just all around mirror wasn't even centered. It stuck far, far out. You know, way out there, really bulky. Kind of annoying. So, I really like this mirror. Low profile, tucked in, nice, clean. When we get our roof on, not gonna hit it. I like it. And I'll uh, leave a link down in the description of it. Got it off of Amazon, it was about 30 bucks. Really cheap. Hey, so we're moving on to the fenders. We got the front fender flares that we're throwing on today. All right, now next. So it says to take these two screws out. This plastic rivet. And then these two screws. And they'll slide right on. So we're gonna take those out right now. All right guys, so this is how this goes on. You have this lip right here. What you do is you kind of tuck that underneath, make sure it gets underneath there, and get all nice and snug. And we're gonna get these screws in. To start off. So on the front fender, we have these longer uh, plastic rivets, and we have two of them, and they go in the front fender right here. And that'll keep that nice and tight up in there. And then we're gonna put these two screws in right here, and we'll move on to the next step. 
we're going to be drilling some holes right there. Now, before you drill it, go ahead and turn this wheel so you give yourself some room to drill. All right, so we're gonna be drilling these holes now. It's a 5 16 drill bit, and you don't wanna go in too deep and hit anything bad enough. When you do this, make sure that you got this pushed in as far as you can. Throw on the plastic rivets. There we go. Something that these uh, front fender flares also come with are these mud flaps. The holes are already pre-drilled, but I'm gonna go without them for right now and uh, see how it does. I don't. I just think it's gonna get damaged by ground clearance and whatnot. But I'm gonna leave them off for night, right now. All right, time for the rear fender, everybody. So you can see that lip right there. It's tucked up. Yeah. Kind of just a little bit. Like it's tucked up right there. Alright. We're gonna be drilling holes in the top here for the plastic rivets all the way around. But down here we have pre-drilled holes. So <clears throat> to help us line it up and get it as tight as possible, we're gonna put these ones in first and then we'll be drilling the holes. All right, so we're in the fender and the wheel well, and we have three holes we gotta drill, and what I do is I tuck this up to where it's flush right there from the original plastic, and then I drill through, put in a rivet, drill through as I'm holding it, and then I put in a rivet, and then this one's pretty snug from this rivet, but drill through, put in a rivet. All right, now that we got those three in, we're gonna move to the top. So it's pretty tied up against here, even before I put the rivets in, but as I, as I drill these holes, I'm gonna be putting a little bit of pressure there. And then, as you can see, there's a gap here. As you can see there's a gap there, and you push it. So you need to make sure that this is nice and tight when you drill these holes so that they line up get perfectly or the best way they can. All right, I'm gonna drill these holes and we'll show you the end product. I don't know about you guys. I know a lot of people don't like the way the Razor Pro body style is, but these fender flares really uh, do something for it. So, uh, we're expecting rain this weekend. It's Thursday right now. Expecting rain on Saturday. Gonna take it out. And uh, I'll let you know how they go. Hopefully I won't get any more mud in my lap. All right, hope that helped, guys.